YouTube. I am Pinstar, and this is Prison Architect Strategy and Tactics, Episode 11. So, in our last episode, uh, yeah, we, um, we, we, we were fighting with this. But don't worry, guys, I finally figured out what the heck I was doing wrong here. You can't have them touching on the same line. So, we have a new, uh, we got a new, we, we have a new, uh, idea in mind for our, our, uh, um, second uh, thing here because we still do still need this um but we will be doing it in a manner that actually works so let me just dismantle all these extra capacitors because they will not work here and i have a bit of an idea why are there three lights in this guy's room eh, whatever i have a bit of an idea of what i'm going to do with this area that it, uh, since it is not going to become a second uh, generator um I mean, you could if we just disconnected it here, but that'd be kind of wasteful. I've got a better idea. Uh, so what we're actually going to do is we're going to make this our generator room. Or, well, rather, our second generator room. Um, well, let's prime it for a second generator room. Um, let's actually go back to our planning tool. We haven't used this thing in a while. Oops. So, yeah, wait. Uh, the generator itself is three by three, and then you surround it with its things. And what I'm going to do is I'll um, I'll throw a wall right here. And yes, I am purposely leaving a space right here. More on that later. Um, right then. So let's um, also uh, someone had mentioned that there might have been some prisoners stuck there. So just in case there are actual prisoners stuck in the void here. Let's just put a door here just to act as sort of an escape valve in case anybody. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Maximum. No, 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 no. We are not ready to take on maximum security yet. Hang on, hang on. Aha, that's our problem. Medium, medium. And how did this get off of uh, off of minimum? This should be all minimum. And yeah, that's medium and medium up there. That's more like it. That's better. All right. I think we're getting a good slew of people coming in. Let's see if we can get a few more in here, because uh, our finances are looking a little bit low. Just just a touch. But we'll get a hefty, uh, hefty amount coming in. Our new shotgun uh, patrol area seems to be working quite nicely, if I do say so myself. I did place that. Okay, good. Oh, yeah, they're all busy filling in the cells, so, yeah. Uh, but let's just plan this out anyway. Um, we'll get a staff door here. Grant completion. Well, complete. I, I think that was cell block C that we uh, picked up there. Not too shabby. So let's take another look at our grants here. Um, I think the next thing we're going to do here is um, pull in prison manufacturing facility. Uh, one of these will probably the long term investment will finalize itself. And we can switch to cell block D for our third grant. But for the time being, we'll be getting closer to that one. Right then. Uh, but first things first, before we get into manufacturing, we need more power. More power. And it also means we need for this to get all dismantled. What the? Radiator's out, uh, out of water. Um. Oh, I bet you we're going to run into some pressure issues with the radiator, which probably means we need another boiler, which is fine by me. We can do another boiler. We'll put you right on here, and we'll uh, throw an electrical cord on you right there, and that way we can get our uh, our boiler going. Yeah, good job there, uh, getting the clean laundry rained on. Yeah, whatever. I don't think it dirties them um, as they're in there. Oh, one other little change I wanted to make here is we can get two sorting desks in here if we um, if we move this around. Um, and I kind of want to get this moved around because I want more. Actually, you know what? No. We want to keep this in here for the time being. 
mainly because well we're getting into we're at the point in time where our our uh, sages are going to actually work on work in them and i don't want them to miss out on the opportunity to sort more books so we'll let them do that first and then i'll dismantle all that and and add in a second sorting desk because right now we only have one we only have like one or two sages and yes, that is the name for uh, uh, my. I've given my prisoners who have passed the education course. They are they are now known as sages, uh, because they are pillars of infinite wisdom in this prison system. Uh, speaking of prison system, holy crap! Look at what we've got coming in here. That is a lot of prisoners coming in at once. Couple gang members. Uh, let's check our intelligence. Gangs. Two and two and two. Uh, they might not have been fully processed yet. Any, um, let's see. We got quick, stoical. Um, oh, there's our stoical instigator. And there's our extremely volatile. Gang member, gang member, gang member. Yeah, all the gang members are hanging out up there. Fearless. Fearless by itself doesn't bother me. I'm also just looking for any new um, um, snitches or... Um, oh, what have you. Um, snitches or ex-law enforcement uh, coming on the new one that might be in medium sec, because we want to give we want to send them to low sec. Alright, but now, for now, things are doing well. Oh, I just noticed we are... Minus a light here. I don't think we are at... Yeah, see? See how there's just a little bit of space up there? I think one more light bulb is not going to be the wafer-thin mint of our power supply here. But, um... Hey! It's one of the hay... Many, many, many hays that are being searched. We have... We must have like a dozen hays in here by now. <laughs> and ironically, that is not one of my uh, name in game sponsors. But if your if your name happens to be Hey, boy, you lucked out on uh, on on getting stuff in there. Yeah, here comes all our all our guards uh, shuffling people into cells here, and we're getting the last of our uh, cells uh, online here. So that works out now, and we are sitting at a hundred and eight. So we can take in even more prisoners, even after that massive load of prisoners um, before then. Hey, Plattern. Got all that good stuff there, and he's a little bit suppressed, which is all that we need. Oh, and you guys are getting a little dose of suppression in here, just cleaning this place up. Yeah, you're, you guys are more than welcome to work in here and uh, stare at Mr. Shotgun. He ain't gonna hurt you. He ain't gonna hurt you. I don't like these dirty trays piling up. I do not like these dirty trays piling up. Oops. Caesars. Who had the Caesars? Is that Mr. Volatile? No, that's not Mr. Volatile. All right, we got all of our electrical equipment packed up here, so we can start in good faith transplanting. Oh, notebook page. Ha! It even even has their notes on electrical systems. Ha! <laughs> oh, how ironic! It's like they knew I could have used a little, a couple of notes on there, and I did not see if there's anybody. Uh, uh, who who was trapped in there? But if they were trapped, although the door is open, so maybe there was somebody trapped. Were you were you the one who was trapped? Although I don't see anyone who's starving. The nice thing though is, if somebody misses meal time uh, proper, they can actually go to the store and buy snacks, and the snacks will partially refill their hunger bar. Um, so if in the event that they missed out on meal time. Um, and they can't, uh, you know, rather than actually, you know, just seep into further levels of, of uh, misery and starvation, um, you've got yourself a, a way for them to actually remedy that, which is nice. 
All right, power station, and let's just max capacitor it up right now. We only had to buy a couple extras anyway. Now, one other thing I want to do here is this. This cell block right here and these, I don't want to be drawing off of the other. Well, I guess we could make it draw off of the other power um, since we know that. Uh, well, I want to give myself a little wiggle room in case I add things to these rooms later. I don't want to shut the uh, and overload the whole circuit. Um, I already kind of took a risk doing that. Yeah, by adding that boiler. So, you know what? Just to be on the safe side, we're going to dismantle utilities on these two wires right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to build utilities. Up to here. So that block and all, all these blocks are going to be powered by... Um, by our new thing. And also, you know what? We're going to dismantle those utilities because uh, those are going to be powered as well. So our construction workers will be a little on the busy side. But first things first, getting power up and running. And uh, so far, knock on wood, that... Uh, yeah, I know, this whole area got went dark, but honestly, it's, well, it's these doors. Hmm. Well, uh, let's get that online, then. They can, I mean, they can make their way in through another way. Um, even without the uh, stuff. And yeah, I know, they're not going to have hot water, either. Huh. Are they getting, uh, they're getting stuff from... Other sources of power? I guess so. Well, that's okay. We'll get the rest of this stuff uh, up and running. As long as you don't have the full power conduits touching each other, we won't have a problem. Yeah, so many of these things. Do we need another four... Do we need another four cooks? I don't... I just got my daily cash flow in a good place. I don't want to go spending it on more on daily wages. Drugs. What do we got, Sergeant Sniffums? Anything from Breedbeck? Ooh, poison. Yeah, these whole punishments in your own cell thing are working out quite nicely. Because I don't really care how many. We got eight in lockdown right now. Um, and we've got enough room for plenty more. So yeah, we won't have the electricity and the hot water going here too much. Let them get a little suppression from taking cold showers. That's fine. It's just a temporary thing anyway. And yeah, that dropped that back down to safer levels. That was a little close for comfort. Just, just a touch. Boy, yeah, he's, these guys are slacking. Why aren't they, uh, why aren't our janitors coming in here and uh, picking up the dirties here? Because I know the prisoners are not allowed in. Um, actually, is this place staff only? It is, but it shouldn't be. You know, we can make this shared. Hey, uh, we've got a patroller here that will make sure that they don't do anything. So, you know what, if they need to poke their heads in here and do some laundry, well, then let them... Hey, we got a released person, a released medium sack. Suppressed by the guard in there, so, yeah, keep your head down, don't do anything. What's your problem? Clothing. Well, um, do we have, um, I think we're, yeah, we're maxed out on laundry, maxed out on the library with only one qual... Oh, God, we must have lost one of our, uh, our, well, we must have had one of our sages, uh, released. With only one um, qualified prisoner there. Yikes. Uh, got our max there. Got our max there. And there will be more forms for more, more opportunities to work soon enough.
All right, got that in place. Soon enough, we'll uh, we'll let those guys get in there. Oh, I haven't assigned um, uh, staff patrols here yet. Guard patrol. That'll help uh, keep an eye on things, even when, uh, even when we're not, um, you know, even when there's no electricity there, we can still watch what's going on here. All right, eat time number two for our minimum sec. The bow, the bow. What are you sneaking, buddy? What are you sneaking? You're suppressed. You're not supposed to be sneaking something. Oh, good job, Stepo. You either are morally uh, morally uh, sound in not sneaking something, or you're just good at sneaking things. But yeah, we must be getting a little bit behind on our laundry. Yeah, because we got our prisoners doing their thing. Now, you must have just come... You must be new to the prison. Oh, good. Thank goodness our sage is at it. See, this is why I did not want to move that sorting desk. Uh, I wanted to make sure that those books made it to the shelves so that our uh, prisoners uh, who have literacy needs can take them. Part of me wants to make a reading room. Um, actually, this would be a good reading room, except that it, it would involve dismantling a, a bookshelf and also letting people in by the generator. Neither of which may be a good idea. What are you all doing? What are you working as? Seriously, what are you doing? I see you. What in the world are you guys doing? Oh, uh, I saw that. I saw that. Search prisoner. I saw it. In fact, I should be searching all of you in here. Because that's not how that's not how we work. You work by going to work. There's that poison. I saw it. What you got there, Gordon? You take any of the poison? All right, time for you, Mr. Volatile, to go back to your cell. So yeah, if you are uh, if you are really keen-eyed, you can uh, catch people in the act and know to search them. Oh, I guess this is normal behavior. All right, are any of you going to uh, sneak some poison? I mean, are there literally no no uh, dirty areas? Because I see some areas that could use some work going on, like your area. And this is this is a low sex cell block. So, no excuses. Or at least I'd have, I'd like to have some of our cleaning area. Oh yeah, we gotta build the... Uh, we gotta build an actual wall there. Yeah, what, what if some of the janitor... Well, I guess they can't go in there because that's staff room. But yeah, like the canteen. This is a common area. Why don't you guys, yeah, go clean an area. All right, looks like we are back online now. Excellent. All right, um, as far as our next uh, bit of uh, progress here. Oh, yeah, let's, uh, you know what I think I'm going to do with this room? Uh, or rather, the remainder of this room. Speaking of remainders, a morgue. This will be our morgue. 
right here. This whole thing will be a morgue. Um, and what do we need here? Uh, morgue slabs. So morgue slabs. There we go, plenty of morgue slabs. Just in case we have some sort of massive riot, horrible thing. You got one guy actually doing work, and the rest of you farts are just farting around. I mean, there's beds here, they could use deliveries of clean clothing. You guys only ever seem to be interested in cleaning the infirmary. I wonder why. And there's the poison. Oh, finally you guys are actually taking away these food trays. Or or not. Well, now there ain't going to be... It's just going to be someone sniffing them. I'm wondering what's in the tray. It's like, sit still, boy. I'm trying to take a dump. Well, that must be embarrassing. Dog forever attached to you, always watching you poop. All right. Um, right. Let's see here. Yeah, I think it is high time that we start building out our maximum security section. And just like the others, we're going to do it in tri-sectionals here. We have a middle part and then an upper part and then a lower part. Uh, so let's start with the middle part here. Uh, and we're actually going to mirror what it is here. Now, granted, these are three by fives, but they this works out well to be a three by five. Uh, sorry, two by three cell, not a three by five, a two by three cell. So we're going to give our guy, our back sec people just a touch more room, just a touch. Maybe that will help keep them a little calmer. You know, that's kind of my, my mindset behind that. So um, I'll see you guys on the flip side after I've marked all this out. There we go. Got all of that situated, situated, I should say. Uh, so that will give us our first taste of high security people. And we're going to want to take these people in in small doses so as not to overwhelm our staff. Um, is there for some reason a reason why this area is not lit up? Or have you just not installed that yet? Well, it is. I just can't see into it, which is fine. I wouldn't be expecting that anyway. We got enough laundry here, I think. Maybe we need just a few more uh, laundry baskets. That might be that might be our thing. Just a thunk. as they haul in the, the, the slabs. All right, let's dismantle the sorting desk now that it is uh, categorically sleep time here so that we might fit in two sorting desks. What is your problem? Oh, an alcoholic. Oh, yeah, we got to get our common room up so we can have our alcoholic classes. That might be a thing we want to do. Let's do that. Um, cause yeah, we've been, we've been needing to have a, a proper common room. Um, we'll do it by, yeah, we'll give it five meters here. Two, three, four, five, bing. And since this is a common room, we will give it a wooden door. A couple of lights. Uh, give it our pool table since we have one. And then I think for the... Co oh yeah, we're also going to need copious amounts of chairs because that's how the AA meetings get held. 
Um, so we're going to need... Uh, I want a decently high capacity for them. Like that. And for the people who don't want to pay attention at AA, we'll have a... Uh, actually, no, we'll have a radio in here. Radio is always good for entertainment. And uh, last but not least, let's get some arcade cabinets. Because um, these are superior uh, um, entertainment value, and they also give a little bit of freedom to them. Um, so yeah, that should do nicely there. Might take them a little while to get to that uh, um, as they're building out our maximum sec here. Well, the, this isn't the maximum sec. This is the high security. There is a very important distinction and difference there uh, that I, uh, I will be insisting on. Because high sec, um, well... In, our next, in, in a future episode, I will get into my philosophy between high sec and max sec. All right, looks like our mortuary is all set. Uh, so perfect, uh, perfect co-room here for the uh, generator. Do, um, are all of our doors situated here? Oh yeah, you can see the two circuits by the different colors. So all of this block right here is being powered by uh, generator B, whereas all these lighter green ones are being powered by generator A. But all the rest of this prison here is going to be powered by generator B. So the only other things that we'll ever be adding to circuit A uh, will be just things that we happen to add to the room. <coughs> Speaking of... Um, yeah, we'll do that. Actually, no, let's not do that. That's silly. Why don't we just do that? And then just continue it along the line here. That way we'll get generator B's juice flowing uh, to power everything that's in uh, in the common room. All right, let's speed things up a bit. Will we have any? Oh, I don't actually. Well, let's see if we can have some cells done for here. So let's get a couple of model cells here. And again, we want these to be singletons. Uh, even though we could make these bunks, I don't want to make bunks out of high-sec people. Trust me. Mm, down that way, uh, well, deep hurting lay. Uh, so we will, yeah, put the toilet right here, just in the off chance that that helps discourage or makes more difficult escape attempts. And we'll get the drain, drain. Shower, shower. And yes, we will be springing for the prayer mat. Oh yeah, it might, it might be more helpful to me to, uh, there we go, expand it out. Prayer mat, prayer mat. Um, and you know what, I can add a bookshelf. Uh, the bookshelf, again, does not actually hold books, like it doesn't satisfy the reading need, but it improves the quality of the cell a little bit, and maybe that might help our prisoners stay just a touch happier. So, yeah. That should help those two out, and then I'll just copy pasta those out to the rest. Will we have enough for our, uh, our new areas? We'll see in a moment. All right, yeah, you can go away now. Uh, um, objects list, can you go away, please? Ah, uh, it's a bug. <laughs> Luckily, we are at the end of our episode, so it will not hamper us for too long. Uh, so if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, 
and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar, signing out. See ya.